Thank you. I'm Tyler King with the Denver Gazette. Uh, you and Carter and Contralo as well this season have been coming up and fitting the runs a lot. But when you see Travis do that on the final play of the game on Saturday, what was that like? And just how much have you been working with some of the corners about trying to force fumbles and, and fitting runs like that? That's Travis. That's who he is. I mean, it's, it's nothing I have to work on. I don't got to work on nothing with this guy. I mean, this guy go out and handle his business. So that, that, it was. Like, it ain't nothing to do with me. That's all of them, man. That's on Travis. That's who he is. Um, McKinney as well. I mean, them guys. Them guys like to talk at a physical corner. So, um, nah, it ain't nothing to me. That's all of them. <laughs> Uh, for me growing up, um, I always played a pound up in like little league, so um, I was always the smallest, but I played middle linebacker. So I kind of figured out how to uh, maneuver my way through the box and just uh, play play to my advantages. So um, it's just me growing up, I've always been in the box and just been a smaller guy. Brian, go ahead. You said you don't even help Travis with anything, but we saw in that final play that you kind of called him over and, yeah. and showed him where, you know, was. Mm-hmm. What did you see there, and kind of what, did that, what was that conversation? I mean, they had two the same two tight ends to the uh, same side, and they had um, they got one in forty four. One was a, they was not really just physical guys, so I figured it was blocking down. Um, honestly, and um, Travis just being Travis at the end of the day, uh, it was just a uh, it was the play call set up. And we they were outnumbered, so I just called Travis over. It wasn't nothing like everybody tried to make it. It was just regular football for real. Um, just, just, uh, just everything, just start, trying to start fast. I mean, we had a problem with that since I've been here. Honestly, I'm just coming out and starting fast from the jump. We had a pretty good start this week, coming out and getting a three and out. So, um, we just, it's something you just got to work as, and it's just, we just trying to find different ways to start fast. Like, when we bring, come to practice, we just make sure we're ready to go practice. Like, soon we hit the field, not, nobody's fiddling around with the helm, shoulder pad. Like, we just, we just trying to start fast, and it just, it comes, it comes, um, it's kind of like we want to make the game dramatic if we've been under. Like we kind of want to want a game, to want all the games to go viral at this point. So that's how it is. But we just been working on everything. Hey Cam, just uh, facing KJ Jefferson, another mobile QB this mm-hmm. weekend. And what's your message to the team? You know, just having to deal with another mobile quarterback. I'm just uh, tackling him, tackling him um, hard and early. Um, KJ is uh, he great on his legs, great with his legs. A lot of run we finna get. So um, just make sure everybody um, doing their doing their jobs, um, doing their jobs, and get to the quarterback. And we get to him. Um, make sure we make sure tackles on him. The big old guy. Hey Cam, Brian Alton Bowl with you in camera. Uh, the other night you had five tackles for seven plays. Yeah, that was you crazy. Finished with thirteen. <laughs> uh, you you kind of set the tone early in games of that. Do you kind of take that upon yourself as a leader that you want to set that tone you know, right from the start? Um. I feel like that's a, the team motto. I mean, it could be anybody that went five, five on the first seven. Um, I was just a guy that game. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, I'm a guy to lead by example guy naturally, and it was just the plays were there for me to make, so I just made sure I made them. And, um, it picked my team up a lot, and the guys rallied behind me. And then just a quick follow-up. Do you feel like you're playing the best football you've played? In no, game? no. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this this is something I've been doing for a minute. I mean, yeah, I was an All-American too at one point. Like, I was an All-American coming here. So um, there's, there's nothing new to me. It's just um, me. Like Coach Prince said the other day, I've consistently been who I am. So that's what I've been doing. Tyler, go ahead. Hey, Kim, you and the rest of the guys from Texas got to go home and, and play against the TCU last year. I'm from, I'm from Alabama, but I got you. I'm sorry. Yeah, the, I got you. The, the guys from Texas. Yeah, I got you. So, uh, I know you played for Coach Prince. Yeah, I got you. Um, the, there's a lot of guys on this team from Florida. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, this week, this is a special game for them. Have you seen kind of any added excitement for a lot of those guys? I have I? Lord, these guys, look, <laughs> these guys are ready to go back home. Um, we've been trying to, everybody trying to trade tickets and everything. They got a million people coming to the game. So it's, uh, everybody decided to go down to Florida. Um, it's it's, uh, it's going to be a nice venue, a nice team. Play. Go ahead. Hi, Cam. Adam Oster Tiger, 24 7 Sports. Last week, Carter Stottmeyer was saying that you were one of the guys that's really kind of helped him along mm-hmm. early on at safety. What, what have you seen with him in this role and in kind of his growth uh, as a safety? Um, Carter is an easy guy to play play with. Um, he wants to learn. He actually wants to learn. He wants to be there um, to the meetings. He wants to sit in meetings, and he wants me to talk to him and talk him to the things. So whatever he needs, I'm there for him. Um, I try to be there as much as possible. If I don't know something, I make sure we get somebody in that, that knows it. Um, I try to find answers for him. Um, him it's just him. He just really wants this thing. Like it's kind of just a different thing with him. He really wants to be here. He wants to get better every game. Uh, we sit in there and watch film without coaches. Like we watched the game last game. It was just me and him, and we just really just went through every play. Like all right, bro, your feet could have been better here. You could have been better here. We could have did this better. 
So uh, it's just his want factor with me. I mean, I love the way that he wants it. Last one, go ahead, Jack. Hey, Cam, uh, Jack Carlo with Buffalo Wire. Um, another teammate I want to ask you about, uh, DJ McKinney in the secondary. Just what's it been like working with him? Um, DJ, DJ is a, a freak, a freak. I'm um, six, six, two. Uh, he can tie his shoes, laces standing up. Um, <laughs> the guy, he's the guy you look at him like, dang, bro, why I couldn't be six, two? Like, I'm, but uh, DJ is a cool, cool guy, cool kid. Um, hardworking, coming to practice and work his butt off. Um, he's growing, he's growing into um, be one of the top corners in the country coming up. All right, thanks. Good. Appreciate y'all.